What's going on, everybody? At back with Silver Sport, and we got Chuck on the line. Hey, everybody, what are you saying? What do you know? I have no idea what Ed's going through today. <laughs> what? what? Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, Chuck. Keep you in the dark. Uh, it proves for better spontaneity. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, real quick, I got my order from Shells in, right? Uh, if you guys hadn't seen this, I put it out on a video where I talked about how to ship your cards. So, and I know that not all of our subscribers saw it, so I just wanted to put it out one more time because I think it's an awesome deal. Uh, if you purchased some of these yourself, uh, please comment in the video. Let people know how you like them. Uh, I think it's a quality product at much cheaper than what we pay at our LCS, right? So this whole box, that's 400 top loaders, and it comes with 400 Easy Glide Soft Sleeves with the top cut, uh, which you guys have seen before. It's $69.99 if you use the, the code in our use the link in our description, you save 10 bucks. So 60 bucks for 400 uh, top loaders, right? And you could buy these individually for $13.99, which normally 25 costs you five, six bucks, right? So, or at least at my LCS, so. And the box that it came in, that's like a, a nice top loader, uh, what is it, 2000 count top loader? Oh box? yeah, yeah, it's the, it's the box. It's got the slits in the end here. It's made to hold top loaders, graded cards. It's wide enough, four columns separated, right? Um, so yeah, good stuff, right? Uh, I just think it's a good deal. Uh, and so you guys can, can use that link if you want to. Also, uh, they got a bunch of stuff, real, uh, good quality products, right? But, uh, I did talk to the, to the guy. I said, Hey, uh, you know, you got any, any of the midsize, you know, the hundred and 130 point, uh, top loaders is, is, you know, it's hard to find on the market these days. He's got a whole shipment coming in. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, they're, they're out of stock of quite a, quite a bit of stuff as many people are in the hobby nowadays. So that is what it is. Uh, one more thing before we get into this box of playoff, uh, ultra game picked their winner. So they did a random of all the comments on our, on our giveaway video. And that winner is Cassius Cole. So Cassius Cole, and, and Cassius Cole has, uh, at least 10 comments on our channel. So he's been around for a little while. Uh, and so Cassius Cole, if you didn't get my message that I responded to on you on the giveaway video, please hit me up via email, which you can find in the description below, along with all our contact info, uh, so that we can connect you with, with ultra game and you can get your Denver Broncos team shirt. So, nice. So very cool. Right? Question for you, Eddie. Yep. Oh, go ahead and finish. Yeah, no, I'll just, I, I, I I'm kind of stoked that, you know, we, we were able to connect and hook somebody up with something free. Right. So go ahead. Chuck. What'd you have? Um, what if people are watching this on full screen mode? What do you mean? Well, when you keep pointing down, say in the description below, but if you're watching it on full screen, it, is it really still below? Yeah, because the video is all at the top. Well, if you're watching it on full screen, you have to m minimize it and push the little arrow below it. Hey, look at you. Yeah, man. but you're a, I don't know how easy. YouTube Guinness. Yeah, I don't know how easy it is to navigate because when I watch it on my TV, I either push play or stop, right? Like it's, I don't, I don't have a cursor to mess around with, right? So, uh, anyway, so playoff. We opened our first box. Of this was pretty good. Let's get uh, Dancing Daisy over here to. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a groovy song. Is he saying slow down? I don't know, but he's putting some positive vibes on my playoff box. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Groovy. <laughs> it's like Chinese reggae or something, right? Like, very cool. Uh, so playoff, again, looking for that uh, Contenders Rookie Ticket red or green uh, autograph preview. You guys have seen all that. We opened one of these before. Base rookie. Oh, and then you get the one rookies plus insert. Again, this is a good deal. I got rookies and stars on the way, but you know, it's coming from Panini, so it's on the slow train. Uh, so that'll be sometime mid next week. Um, Speaking and, of Chinese reggae, have you been uh, watching the Olympics yet? Uh, no, Chuck, I actually haven't. And I don't know what it has to do with Chinese reggae. Please enlighten me. <laughs> well, they're, 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 they're in Beijing, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, so you haven't seen all the all the stuff with the the Russian Olympic uh, figure skater there? Uh, no. What's the deal? Oh Chuck? yeah, they, they won gold uh, basically on the back of this fifteen year old chick. Man, she uh, she hit like the first quad something and jump in like women's competition. Oh, 
Come to find out, she popped positive back in December, but uh, the Russians just, you know, suspended her punishment for the Olympics. <laughs> we we want to let you participate first. <laughs> we need to win. Oh, uh, I was going to get your opinion on that, but you ain't been following it, and I guess uh, you really don't have an opinion. Yeah. There's a Peyton Turner rookie. No, I do not. And here's our first hit. Nico Collins. And that is an autograph. Nico Collins, one out of ten. No, oh, that's the Contenders preview rookie ticket. You hit one. Indeed it is. The rookie ticket, Nico Collins. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at you. You hit one. Out of ten, Nico Collins. I guess I expected it to have some shimmy shine because, you know, the Contenders are the sh have the, the, the shimmy shine, right? So, yeah. Very cool. Out of ten. Numbered one of ten. Bookend. Yeah, Nico Collins, uh, as we said before, out of Clay Chalkville High School in Pinson, Alabama. Oh, Pinson, Alabama, is that what said, Chuck? Yeah, P-I-N-S-O-N. Oh, very cool. And there's a Michael Carter rookie wave. Really like these cards. Uh, one of our subscribers hit us up, pulled the, the gold vinyl one of one uh, of this card of Justin Fields. It's up on oh. eBay now. Uh, I would really like it, but I don't know if I can afford it. <laughs> Overall, Nico Collins finished his rookie season appearing in 14 games, 8 starts, with 33 receptions, 446 yards, and 1 NFL touchdown. Oh, there you go. While playing in 59% of the Texans' offensive snaps on the season. Oh, there you go. Uh, so good stuff. I'll hold on to him for sure. And speaking of the Texans, uh, welcome back, Lovey Smith. Oh, yeah. Good old Lovey. I like that guy. I'm glad he got a job. Yeah, Lovey I might have a... had some harsh words for him back in the day, but now I'd give anything to have him back. Yeah, good. well, I mean, but the one thing we pride ourselves on in Chicago defense, he was he was always good at, right? Like, uh, yeah, a little behind the numbers, Travis Etienne. I think we were just talking about him today, weren't we, Chuck? Yeah, I'm still trying to find a yeah an auto of him. Yeah, Chuck was complaining because he's his autos are still more than fifty dollars, right? Cheap ass Chuck looking for a looking <laughs> the for man a... didn't play a snap, you know. He, he's hurt. And, I don't know. Everybody knows Jacksonville's going to do well next year. Chuck looking for that ten dollar flyer, man, because he can't find it. Uh, so, right. And I ain't, and, you know, I ain't even looking for his NFL uh, uniform. You know, my boy's a fan of the college football, so I'm just trying to get you know one of the early ones in his Clemson uni. But yeah, damn. Oh, and there's a Chris Evans rookie card. I got a one of one of that guy. Uh, you do? And then here is a numbered card. First down, Cameron Jordan. Didn't we pull oh. a short print Cameron Jordan out of the last one? That's 74 out of 100. And a call to arms, Dak Prescott. Oh, yeah. And of course, we all, as we all know, Cameron Jordan, uh, former Chandler Wool from uh, Chandler, Arizona out here. Jack, shiny card. Love the shiny cards. Let's see what we got here. Let's see how this flower did. Uh, well, you, you hit one of the rookie contender auto previews, so, I mean, I'd say the flower did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess there is that. Uh, Jesse Tuggle, Jalen Rieger. And out of 10, too, right? Jalen Waddle, rookie. Yeah, out of 10. That's correct. And uh, a first down, Emir Smith Marset out of 100, number seven of 100 rookie, followed by a Patty Mahomes behind the numbers, shimmy shine. And these cards are actually cool. I think if if it's if it holds true as the same as last year, you could get these cards in the retail, but they weren't the prism shimmy shine. They were just chrome. And yeah, so it's just kind of silver. But, you know, they've kind of been behind on everything. I'm surprised that Mosaic Retail hasn't really hit the streets yet. Uh, so they're, I think they're behind on that too, right? Uh, oh, we got a thick card in here. Michael Pittman, Stephon Gilmore, Chris Johnson, Brian Erlacher, Jalen Ramsey. Who is this? Monty Rice from oh. the Tennessee Titans, rookie. And a Keenan Allen. Patch. This autograph? Just no. a patch. Oh, but it's the Charger uh, Powder Blues. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, Monty Rice, linebacker out of Georgia, third round pick. Oh, yeah. Player warm. There we go. Um, By way of St. John Paul II Catholic High School in Huntsville, Alabama. 
Oh, freshman year, then he transferred to uh, James Clemens High School in Madison, Alabama. It's funny how many of these guys are from Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Must be a, must got a good foot pro, football program down there or something, you know? <laughs> oh, suffered an ankle injury in week 12, was placed on injured reserve on November 30th, 2021. Trey Sermon, rookie wave. Oh. Oh, and we got another rookie wave back here. Is that, I saw a Patriot. <laughs> oh. Jonathan Taylor, Corey Davis. You know, it's uh, Rashawn Salam, not Rashawn Salam. What's, uh, what's, what's the running back? Ramondre, the Ramondre Stevenson. There's the Hamsa Nasser Ildeen again. I think we pulled him last time because we don't see his <laughs> yes, name. Yes, you off. did. <laughs> oh, Gregory Russo. What do we got here? That is a Greg Russo auto and a Mac Jones rookie wave. Greg Russo uh, went to the deck there for a second while I sleeve up Mac Jones. <laughs> so, rookie wave, Mac Jones. Uh, I think we pulled one of those out of last box. And then that is our other autograph, uh, Greg R. It looks like Dry R. <laughs> uh, not numbered, Greg Rousseau autograph. I know we got some big Buffalo fans, big fans of this guy in particular. Uh, and then again, this is a thicker card, but you see these sleeves with the slit in them. Slides right in there, right? So... Out of Hallelujah, Florida. Huh. Week two, nominated for NFL Rookie of the Week honors with five tackles, two sacks, and two tackles for loss. Oh, yeah. Her first career interception, October 10th, in a Sunday night win against Patty Mahomes and the Chiefs, earning AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Oh, yeah, he was definitely part of that Bills defense. I know he was a, he was a standout player, right? Uh, Joey B, Super Bowl quarterback. Derek Carr, Chase Claypool, Adam Thielen, C.D. Lamb, Brian Burns, and an Ian Book, not numbered rookie. Oh, and there we go. A Trey Lance behind the numbers. And a kid reporter, which I believe is expired. <laughs> 2021, yep. Uh, yeah, so how long do you think those kid reporters will stay in packs after the Super Bowl that are released, Chuck? Oh, yeah, I'm sure we just go pull them to, down to the last product of the year. Until 2022 products come out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Trey Lance, another again pulling all the quarterbacks, just like we did last time. All right. So you got your autos, you got your man. Uh, how much for one of these remaining packs? Uh, eight million dollars, Chuck. So someone reminded me in the comments that the last time we had the flower on the show, uh, that's when you hit the on campus out of one of the packs you bought off of me. <laughs> So I vowed that the flower or never again will put that kind of mojo on Chuck's packs. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, of course he wants to, to I want to see Chuck hit, hit fire. I just want him to buy his own packs. Is that so much to ask? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, you're still staring that credit card bill in the face. I'm just trying to put money in your pocket. <laughs> yes, yes, you are, sir. I should appreciate it. So I got three packs left. Uh, oh, and I still need my playoff plus. Ooh, ooh, is that black back there? Uh oh, glad it wasn't this one. <laughs> Stephon Diggs, <laughs> Mo Alley Cox, Chris Godwin, David Montgomery, Cam Akers, Asante Samuel, and a, oh, I thought it looked like something cool, but it's just a thunder and lightning. Uh, thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning. That's right. We didn't catch just the first box. They're all thunder and lightning. Uh, you had one job, guy at Panini. Uh, so, guy or gal. Uh, I'll give you six bucks for the next pack. Uh, yeah, no, Chuck. <laughs> oh, everything's gone. The hits are all gone. Okay, that's fine. But I'm not oh, selling so you... six bucks for this pack? No. I'm not selling you a pack of anything for six bucks, Chuck. I wouldn't sell you a pack of Prism Draft Picks for six bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, there's your Ramondre Stevenson rookie. And what do we got here? Michael Carter for the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. 48 out of 50 rookie. And another Thunder and Lightning. Lamb Jack and Marquise Brown. Uh, same design, not numbered. Let me sleeve up the shimmy shines here real quick. So what is the cost of a pack? 10 bucks? Uh, well... 
Uh, no. Well, they're thirty dollars, basically thirty dollars a pack, Chuck. They're twenty. Well, yeah, but the hits are gone. I'm buying base cards here. Yeah, but I, I, I only like to play the game when the price goes up. I don't like to play it when it goes down, <laughs> right? Like. <laughs> We're going to play Let's Make a Deal. It's going to be a deal in my favor, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that, but then you'll hit the hit like you did last time. See? <laughs> uh, Patrick Jones, the second rookie. Oh, there we go. Super Bowl quarterback, 30 of 35, Matthew Stafford. Followed by a Heinz Ward behind the numbers. That's an interesting card to have in one of your... So would you rather have those cards or 10 bucks in your pocket? Um, which cards? These cards? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Matt Stafford's pretty good, Chuck. Man, that's an 87 cent card all day long. But he's a Super Bowl quarterback. <laughs> yeah, it was 13th year card. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, 15 bucks for this pack. Let me make sure I don't get no packs in the box anymore like I did last time. What'd you say? 15 bucks. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> now I can't do it because I saw Terrace Marshall and I almost said yes. <laughs> What's wrong with Terrace Marshall? <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't want to do you like that. So when I saw it, Zeke, Kellen Mond. Oh, and look at that. Warren Moon Playoff Plus. Ooh, I dodged a bullet on that one. So my play, and I didn't even re realize that my last pack would have been the playoff plus. So my play. I almost got you, but yeah, God, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Warren Moon, Tennessee, not numbered. Houston Oilers, I should say, uh, aka Tennessee. Warren Moon, playoff plus, short print, but not numbered. Oof. Yeah. Woof. So there we go. Uh, and then a rookie wave, Terrace Marshall Jr. to add to my extensive Terrace Marshall Jr. collection. Yeah, uh, and you, you do have uh, an extensive Terrace Marshall collection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, if, only we, if only we knew a Carolina Panther fan. Uh, yeah, we, we do know a few of them, yes. Uh, <laughs> so there you go, guys. That'll do it for our second box of playoff. Uh, again, fun rip. Uh, Look forward to next time. I think we'll, we'll uh, let's talk about the Super Bowl in our next video. So that'll come out next. We're going to open some 2020 stuff and do some Joe Burrow hunting. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. And we're out.